Welcome to Master Math. Today we're going to talk about inequalities. What does inequalities mean? Well, it means two things are not equal. But it also means a little bit more in math. And it does in English too. You know that your height is not equal to your father's height. But you know more than that. You know your height is less than your father's height. Well, in math, we can express that with symbols. This symbol means greater than or more than. This symbol means less than. This symbol means greater than or equal to or at least. And this symbol means less than or equal to or no more than. Now this is the greater than symbol. And it's a little bit confusing. Which end do you put which number on? Well, I'm going to show you how to remember that. You'll notice that there's an open end and a pointy end to this symbol. And you need to remember that the larger number goes at the open end. And this is the larger end of the symbol too. So the larger number is at the open end, the larger end the smaller numbers at the closed end or the smaller end. For instance, 6 is larger than 4 and the 6 is at the larger side of the symbol. Now I can shift things around. I could put my larger number on the le right and my smaller number on the left, but if I did that I'd have to reverse my symbol so that the smaller side of the symbol was towards the smaller number and the larger side of the symbol was towards the larger number. This guy had a great day fishing. He caught a lot of fish and all the fish weighed at least 22 ounces. Well could we say that mathematically? Could we convert that into an inequality? If we did, there'd be some advantages because then we could use our math tools to manipulate the expression. And you'll see later in math how that works. But yeah, I can write this as a mathematical expression. The weight of all the fish was greater than or equal to 22. W was greater than or equal to 22. Here's another one. Each evening you spend more than an hour and a half doing homework. Can I write that mathematically using inequality signs? I sure can. H, or the number of hours you spend doing homework, is greater than one and a half. Well, what if I wanted to graph that? What if I wanted to see that on a number line? Well, it'd look like this. I'd have a number line, which in this case runs from minus 5 to 5, and I'd put a circle at that one and a half. And I'd draw an arrow in the direction of all the answers that would be in the solution set. Everything that satisfies this expression, h is greater than one and a half, is symbolized by that arrow heading in the direction of larger than our circle at one and a half. And that circle at one and a half means that one and a half is not included in the graph of the solution set to h is larger than one and a half. Because one and a half is not part of the solution. One and a half is not larger than one and a half. But anything bigger than one and a half would be in the solution set. Well, let's say I changed that expression up a little bit. Now it said each evening you spend at least an hour and a half doing homework. Before you spent more than an hour and a half doing homework. Now you're spending at least an hour and a half doing homework. So an hour and a half would qualify as a solution to this. Before it had to be larger than an hour and a half. Now it has to be an hour and a half or larger. How would I write that mathematically? Well, I'd use the larger than or equal to symbol h is larger than or equal to one and a half. My hours of doing homework 
is at least one and a half. Now let's say I wanted to, to show that on a number line or graphically. Well, it would look an awful lot like the last graph. You remember in the last graph we had an open circle there and an arrow that pointed towards the larger numbers. Well, this has got to be a little bit different though because our solution set includes one and a half. And how do we note that? Well, we fill in that circle. We make it a closed circle, a filled in circle, and then an arrow pointing in the direction of the solution. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. A number z multiplied by 3 is less than 8. A number z multiplied by 3 is less than 8. It's a simple translation. Write and graph a number x is greater than minus 6. Well, this is a simple translation. A number x, x, is greater than, is greater than, negative 6. Now, could I graph that? Sure I could. I'd create a number line, and I'd go to the 6, my number, or my negative 6, and I'd put a circle there. And it's, a, it's an open circle. It's empty in the middle because our solution doesn't include negative 6. It's all numbers that are greater than negative 6. Now after I've got that circle, it's simple. I just draw an, an arrow towards the larger numbers and I've graphically written x is greater than negative 6. Write and graph. The speed limit on Highway 25 is 65 miles per hour. If S is your speed, write and graph this inequality. Well, that's kind of easy. S, S has to be less than or equal to the speed limit of 65 miles per hour. Now, how would I graph that on a number line? Well, the first thing I have to do is pinpoint that 65 because we know everything starts at the 65. And I'm going to fill in the circle. I'm not going to leave it open because 65 is included in our solution set. And then I'm going to draw an arrow in the direction of all the solutions, all of which are less than 65. That's our lesson on writing and graphing inequalities now it's time to test your skill. Go to www.mastermath.info and download the Writing and Graphing Inequalities Worksheet. After you've done the worksheet, go back to MasterMath and try the quiz on Writing and Graphing Inequalities. I hope you learned a lot, and I hope you're coming back again real soon.